This is Gina Gacy. Back in 2004, she miraculously survived rabies without the vaccine. Rabies is known as the world's deadliest virus. Once the patients become symptomatic, treatment is almost never effective and mortality is over 99%. The disease mostly affects underdeveloped countries where stray animals is poorly controlled, medical programs and access to vaccine is limited or non-existent. Look at how simple and how bare it is, no pictures. We used to have windows here. So we have had many rabid patients who jump from this window. They escape and they might bite other people. Once patient gets in, he's locked inside and he can no longer leave the room until he dies. Ibang sakit, hindi ka man lang binigyan ng pagkakataon kahit 1% lang eh. 100% ganun ka agad. Kung sana ay eh, yung 100%, sana naman ay mabuwasan ngayon yung sinasabi ng doktor. A Children's Hospital opens good scene. A miracle happened. It was October 2004, and only his second time on call at his new job in Wisconsin when Dr. Willoughby heard about the patient who would change his career. He was accustomed to treating young patients with dangerous bacterial and viral invaders, attacking blood, bones, and brains. But he never had treated someone with rabies, and that's what the physician on the phone might be afflicting the gravely ill 15-year-old girl who was about to be transferred to his care. It was 20 years ago this year that Gina Gacy was bitten by a bat as she carried it out of her local church. It was really just a normal, normal Sunday. Um, my mom and I went to mass, and about three quarters of the way through, a bat came down from the ceiling and started just flying around where one of the ushers actually knocked it down to the floor. And me, being the 15-year-old huge animal lover, I not only wanted to save the bat, take it outside and release it, so I asked my mother if I could pick it up and take it outside and she didn't think I would actually do it and of course I, I did do it. But when she picked it up, it sang a fang into her finger where it hung until she pulled it off. A little cut it, probably? It really hurt but other than that, I mean I didn't, it didn't feel like you know anything significant happened other than just a normal animal bite. At home, her mother cleaned the wound with peroxide and then the family moved on with their lives. But three weeks later, Gacy became sick. She couldn't get out of bed. She was rushed to a nearby hospital where doctors 
tested her for a range of diseases, including meningitis and Lyme disease, but all came back negative. She was transferred to the Children's Hospital in Milwaukee, where doctors turned white when her parents mentioned that she had a bad bite. Rabies is nearly always fatal because it spreads to the brain, where it causes inflammation that destroys brain cells. But in Gacy's case, this was exactly the cycle Dr. Willoughby tried to break. He suggested testing something that had never been tried before, with the parents saying yes, eager to save their daughter. Gacy was placed in a two-week coma to give her immune system time to fight rabies, which miraculously worked. Now known as the Milwaukee Method, it has since been used to save at least two other patients, including the eight-year-old girl, Precious Reynolds, who was scratched by a rabid stray cat in 2011. The method included a cocktail of drugs that placed patients in a coma to suppress brain activity and gave their immune system time to fight the infection. And when Gacy woke up, the virus was gone, but she was like a newborn baby and had to relearn everything again. At the time, she quickly became global news sensation as the first person to have ever survived rabies. After all, she went back to school and made to finish a college degree. In 2014, she got married had twins in 2016, and then a baby boy in 2018. Although Dr. Willoughby's successful treatment to Gacy, the Milwaukee Protocol is remained under fire. Many rabies researchers rejected the notion, saying the treatment was unethical and wouldn't lead to any more survivors, and indeed, when it was tried in the first few years after Gacy's case, patients died. There have now been 51 known attempts with seven survivors, including Gacy. Of them, five are still alive, though one is severely impaired and two have some impairments. Clearly, the protocol doesn't work for everyone. But the doctor's point of view is that Milwaukee Protocol merits further study. But critics don't think the protocol is worth studying or useful at all. At some point, the doctor agreed to his critics that the treatment is not the best solution to the problem of rabies. The cost of providing care for one case was equivalent to the amount of money needed to give vaccination to 30,000 children in poor countries. In Gacy's care, Willoughby estimated the cost at 800,000 or more. Speaking about her experience to media, 
Gacy opened up that a few other people have since recovered from rabies using the same method. While not every case has had the same positive outcome, it is incredible that there is now a chance of surviving a disease once considered fatal without a vaccination.